you are tuning in, I know it's Monday and some of you are like literally like have your um, phone next to you at your work or whatever, but if you can turn on your camera, listen, one day you're going to be hosting these and it is so much easier to do this when you see faces and not like a block with a name. Um, and that's part of what we're going to talk about today is energy. Uh, for me, that is one of the most important things to what we do is managing our energy and our enthusiasm. So first thing first, my name is Kate Higdon. If I have not had the pleasure of meeting all of you, I hope that I do soon. We're going to talk about an opportunity that we all may be able to get together very soon. So I'm going to be sharing that. I just got a screenshot of the graphic for that. I'm super excited to share with you. So I'm coming to y'all from Owensboro, Kentucky. I have been drinking and sharing ketones since late 2016. So I'm like old dog now, old dog, but I don't feel that way. Um, how many of you feel like you're totally aging backwards? Anybody? Like, right? I know. I love it. I love it. I, I feel like I'm one of those rare people that I'm like, ask me how old I am. Like, please ask me, ask me how, like, I love talking about that. Um, oh, thank you, Diane. I appreciate that. So I was drinking ketones as a customer for three months. I always love telling this story because I want you all to know right now that I could be in your business at this exact moment. Okay. I could be in your business at this exact moment moment. I was a customer for three months, not asking questions. I didn't, I wasn't raising my hand. I wasn't asking about the business. When my girl Stephanie would message me, sometimes I wouldn't even answer because I'm like, I got stuff going on. I don't have time to talk about this. Just like, let me drink this stuff and leave me alone. Okay. Any of you have anyone like that? Like you send messages to people and it's like they ghost you and they're not responding. Okay, guess what? They got busy lives. They got stuff going on that don't take that personal. Do not take that personal. I always, I love the, um, I tell my daughter this all the time is always assume positive intent and don't take that personal because you don't know what's going on in their lives. So I was drinking it for three months and then I decided, well, my mother decided for me that I was going to become a promoter. Uh, because I needed the income. We were in foreclosure. We didn't have $5 on a credit card. We could not work more hours. We could not at, um, increase our prices at our other business. Uh, we had completely tapped out because of extreme medical debt. Does everybody know that you are one medical catastrophe from like bankruptcy? like most Americans, at least in, in America, you are like one medical catastrophe from losing it all. Like that's where we were. All right. So I joined this business with my back against the wall with the goal of making $2,000 to save my house. That was my only goal. It was my only thing. And not only was I able to do that, but grow a large organization, change the complete total trajectory of my family, um, my husband, myself, my children, and because my family now does this with me, it's changed the trajectory of my entire family's lives. So super excited to be on here um, to share a little bit of what do we do to increase our energy? What are things that you can do in the middle of the month? Do any of you feel like the middle of the month, you start to get a little tired? Like just full transparency, like no judgment. No judgment. Anybody feel like middle of the month, you start like the beginning of the month, you're like, yeah, it's the beginning of the month. Go, go, go. And then it's the, the middle of the month and you start to feel this slump. And then it's at the end of the month and you're like, oh my gosh, the end of the month is coming. Go, go, go. Anybody? Nobody? Am I the only one? <laughs> All right. Thank you, Diane, for being real and showing up and sharing. All right. Because it's very, very normal, right? Like it's hard. You can't stay up here all the time, all the time. But we want to be able to plug into that. We want to be able to tap into that whenever possible. So today's call, we're going to, I'm going to give you some tips on how to keep your energy up for the middle of the month. We're going to hear 
from someone on our team who joined recently and has hit MVP cycle one, cycle two, cycle three, y'all. Like, hello, hello. How many of you would love to hear from someone who came in and, and guess what, y'all? She doesn't build on social media. Okay, all right. And the reason I'm going to have Ms. Paula share with you all is because I think it's important that we hear different voices that are building in different ways. Because you may be a social media like Marvel. You may have hundreds of thousands of people following you and crushing it. But guess what? You might, you might bring someone in that doesn't. And we have to know how to coach. That's what makes our team so special. Y'all realize that, right? That's what makes this legendary team so special is that we can do both. We are ninjas in both. So we're going to hear from Paula on what she's doing, how she is moving through this MVP. She's like, she's qualified to go to Ishkaret. I mean, hello, like I'm excited for that. I don't know if she's going for sure, but I know she's qualified. Um, and then we're going to give you some very specific action steps. My girl, Lynn Knowles, is going to be on with me. And we're going to give you all some very specific action steps of things you can do today, today to move your business forward. Does that sound good? Okay, first and foremost, do I have your permission to coach you? Yeah? Can you tell we just came out of LCD? Do I have your permission? All right. Awesome. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. I love it. Okay. So we're going to go back to this energy thing because I feel like your energy is the most important thing. If you don't have your energy in a good place, the post you make doesn't matter. The person you talk to that conversation isn't likely to go where you want it to go if you're not in the right energy space. If you attended LCD, you attended It Factor with Joseph McClendon III, you know that creating that magnetism inside you, which is already there and just hyping it up, is one of the most important things that we do in this business. So I'm going to give you some guidance on how I manage my energy. This isn't theory. Okay, I didn't just go to the Googles and type in, how do you um, increase your energy to work your business? Okay, I didn't do that. This is literally the stuff that I do. So number one thing that I do to increase my energy when I start to feel a slump, and by the way, you all, slumps are like, it's normal. Okay, it's normal. Our goal here is to not to keep you from ever feeling like the downside of the roller coaster, but to keep you from going way down here, okay? It's to grab that awareness first to go back up. Does that make sense? Like we're not here to keep you from never going down. Like that's not realistic. That's not life. But we want to keep that. We want to get that awareness really quick so that we can go back up. So number one, y'all are already doing right now at this exact moment, you are already doing the thing. You are plugged in. You're plugged in. You're showing up to a call like this, okay? So I want you to remember that plugging in is one of the most important things you can do to keep your energy up, not just for you, but for your entire team, okay? So what does that, what does plugging in mean? It means showing up for huddle calls, turning your camera on, for a huddle call. I get it. Not everybody can. I'm not judging those of you that cannot turn your camera on. Okay. But if you're sitting on the couch and you've got your camera off, know that that, and there's no reason for you to have your camera off. Don't lie to yourself. Do not lie to yourself because that affects your energy and it affects the energy of the rest of the people on the call. If you think that your presence on this call doesn't matter, you are so incorrect. Not just does your presence matter to everybody else on this call, your presence matters to you. And when you've got your camera on, again, no judgment for those of you that can't, but if you're sitting at home 
and their kids running around or whatever, you can still have your camera on. I'm telling you, you will show up differently. You will show up, you will fit up differently. You will attract energy differently. You will absorb knowledge differently. And I'm just gonna preface this because I know that everyone on this call will be on those COC Zooms one day if that is your goal and your desire. If that is your desire, when you are on a COC call, if you don't have your camera turned on, you will be booted off the Zoom. So just start acting like a pro champ and a COC now, okay? If you can, if you're at work or you're in the bathroom, we don't want you to turn it on. But I'm just saying, don't lie to yourself, okay? You can lie to us, but don't lie to yourself. Plug in. Plug into your team calls. When your leader says, hey, we've got a team call Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, I want you to imagine in your mind that you are the CEO of a multi-million dollar business. Do you just not show up for the company call? Okay, you have to see it and act it before it happens. All right, some of you are already you have multi-million dollar businesses, but you don't think of it that way. I promise you, some of you, like I was on a call with some of um, some of the people on our team the other day, and I'm like, Karen, do you know how many millions of dollars of ketones your organization has sold? She's like, well, I mean, I've made such and such. I said, does the CEO of, I don't know, Wayfair, I've got furniture. Does the CEO of Wayfair, when he talks to people about the size of his business or she, okay, I'm not trying to say. Does the size of, of Wayfair, is it based on how much the CEO made? No, it is based on how many billions of dollars of furniture was sold. That's how that CEO shows up. Do you under, are you smelling what I stepped in? Because I'm laying it on kind of hard because it's Monday. It's Monday and, and y'all agreed to be coached and energy is the topic of the day. All right. It smells delish. I don't know. It says iPhone. I don't know who said that, but I love that. That's hilarious. All right. Awesome. So we are plugging in. Um, tonight, tonight, there is a maximize your ketones call. A maximize your ketones call. Are you plugging into those calls? Are you plugging into those calls? Are you plugging into them a call like that? Not, not as a ketone drinker, but as a ketone supporter. Someone who truly believes in sharing the conversation of prove it. Which by the way, a language shift in me, which Dustin Schaefer has been telling me to shift this language for a long time, and I don't know why it's just happened. I no longer talk about the ketone conversation. I talk about the prove it conversation. Okay, so tonight in my mind, it's called the maximize your ketones call. To me, it is the maximize your prove it experience conversation. That's what it is to me. That is my shift in, in thought. So are you inviting people to that? Are you plugging into those? Okay. Um, also something to move our energy. Talk to your team more. When was the last time you actually on the phone? I'm going to do banana phone here. When was the last time you actually, like if you're on Christina's team, did you talk to Christina? Did you let her know what's going on? Or do you sit over here and you're like, I don't really want to bother anybody. Um, I'll just figure this all out on my own. Okay. Success leaves clues. Do you know who messages me at least a couple of times a week with questions and plugs in? Yes, she got her hand up right there. Miss Paula hoffman Gleipel, MVP cycle one, two, and three. She's plugged in with her team. She's calling us. She's got questions. She's like, can we get on a Zoom? Okay. If you're waiting for your leaders to contact you all the time, who's the CEO of your business? Dustin Schaefer is not the CEO of my business. 
Do you understand? Are you smelling what I stepped in? Because I'm laying it on. I know it's hard, right? Debbie, who's the CEO of your business? Cindy, who is the CEO of your business? Lisa, who is the CEO of your business? Is it your leadership? No, it is you. If you need something or you have a question, you call them up, okay? Plug it in. I'm glad, Lori. I'm glad you're loving it. That's Kate, that's late. It's all right, it's okay, I got you. Okay, next thing for energy. So number one was plug in. Number two, talk to your team more. Talk to the people in your organization and the people that you are in their organization. Communicate, communicate. If you sit in your couch, in your living room, and you think that you are on an island, you put yourself there. You put yourself there, okay? Reach out, have conversation, all right? That's how you've got to stay close to the fire. You have to stay close to the fire. The further you get away from the fire, the colder you will get. To keep your energy up, you got to stay close to the fire, stay plugged in, and never, ever apologize for that. Never apologize for wanting more and having that desire and, and wanting that energy. Everybody agree? Everybody okay? Checking in, checking in. Okay, number three thing that you need to do to keep that energy up is to check your mindset. What are you feeding your brain? What are you feeding your brain? There's people on this call who have traveled with me. We've stayed in the same hotel room. You know what I do every morning. Every morning, I am feeding my brain with something motivational. I'm going to give you guys one of the things that I do, and it may not be for you because it's kind of hardcore. It's like, if you like David Goggins, you're going to like this one. I go to YouTube and I type in Mulligan Brothers. No, I do not make money off of Mulligan Brothers, referring them to you all. I'm just telling you, you want to get motivated. You want to lose your excuses. You want to tap into your desire. Mulligan Brothers, motivational speeches. I listen to it every morning. I listen to TD Jakes this morning. Okay. TD was, he was laying it down. And that's what I listened to. Feed your brain. And your brain is not just about strategies and planning. It is the energy. What are you doing to feed your energy? Are you feeding your energy with things that are like, then, yeah. that's great. If that works for you, that's great. If you are into the zen, okay? But don't forget to tap into your ambition. That's that's the place that we are. And Brian Underwood's talking about that a lot right now. We've, we are in, we've been in this space of chill and calm and peace and people have lost their ambition. What are you doing to feed your ambition? Feed it. Are you feeding the good wolf or the bad wolf? Okay. The good wolf over here, the one that knows your dreams and your desires, and they want to help you get there as fast as it can. Or the bad wolf over here that's like, well, today's kind of, you know, you deserve to take some time off. It's, it's you know, they're, they're, it's hot outside. It's not a good social media day. All right. Who are you feeding? Feed the good mindset. Tap in. So that's one of the things that I do every single day is I am feeding my ambition. So I'm going to change that word mindset for me to ambition. I'm feeding my ambition. All right. Number four thing that you can do to shift your energy is connect to stories. Connect to stories that not only feeds your energy, but your belief. How many of you, you've been going great, you've been going great, and then someone says something. Maybe it's that your cousin's husband who says, oh, you know, I, I read an article that stuff's just a bunch of bull pucky. That's just, that's not real. I don't know why. I've got this Earl presence in me right now. I'm feeling a little Earl. We're gonna, sorry, if your name is Earl, I apologize. But let's say Earl comes in and he's a balloon popper. 
He wants to just pop balloons. And you know, he doesn't just do that to you. He does it to everyone that he's around, okay? The way we do one thing is the way we do everything. If you've got someone trying to pop your balloon, no, they pop everyone's balloons. You are not that special, okay? Not about you, it's about them. They are, what do I wanna say? They are just perpetual balloon poppers. That's where they get their joy. It has nothing to do with you. All right, the fastest way to get that belief back and pump yourself up is to connect to a story. Who do you know that's had an amazing story? Remember that, do you have them written down? Do you have Inspire On videos on your phone? Who on your team, what customers have sent you messages? I have an entire album on my phone that is nothing but people that have sent me messages saying, Look at what happened to me. Listen to what, listen to my story. Here's my story. Here's my story. I have an entire album that just has those text messages because I need to connect into those. I'm not, I'm not like impenetrable. Oh, I said it. <laughs> Big words are not my thing. Okay. Connect to stories. And the last thing I'm going to tell you guys to do for your energy is to connect to your why. What is your why? And I'm not, listen, sometimes it's hard to have that great, big, huge why. What's your why right now? What's your why right now? Right now, I am so hyper-focused on Ishkaret and Epic. That's kind of my why. It's not my great, big, huge why, but it's what's motivating me right now. Because if you don't connect to your why, any excuse will keep you from it. I'm tired today. I worked outside all day yesterday. I just, I don't know, I've got this little thing in my throat. Okay. Or, um, well, it's, it's, um, it's Susie in the office's birthday today. So we're, I'm going to, I'm going to take the day off today. Okay. If you don't have a why, if you don't know why you're doing this, any excuse will keep you from doing it. I promise you, there, there's never going to be a hundred days of a hundred days of feeling like doing your business. Listen, Michelle up here, she is a workout beast. Like, I wish I could just move in with her and like, we. Could, but I, I promise you, like, she's amazing physically fit, but she doesn't always feel like doing it. And if she only did it on the days that she felt like it. She wouldn't have the body and the health that she has, okay? She does it even when she doesn't feel like it because she knows why she's doing it. Does that make sense, you guys? So know your why. All right, so I'm gonna kind of step back a second and I wanna connect to the story. Um, and we're gonna have, I'm gonna have Paula share just, real quickly, because I think it's important that you all know that people are winning, that people are winning here. And Paula, she'll tell you, I don't know what, this is what she'll say. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't really know. That's when people are exploding the fastest. Y'all ever notice that? When people are like, I don't really know what I'm doing. That's when they explode the fastest. So I want you all to hear from Paula, um, what she's doing, her story, and and utilize that as some motivation and energy. Tap into her energy space. If you're not in a great energy space, borrow it from someone else. It's okay. All right. And then we're going to give you guys some action steps. So Paula, can you unmute real quick? Okay, that was a challenge. Yes, I did it. <laughs> You're doing awesome. So share a little bit with um, the people on this call a little bit about what, first of all, congratulations. Like Thanks. you're doing amazing. You are, you're changing lives. You're moving forward. You're setting goals. Um, but share a little bit with people like what has your process been and with your Prove It business? Okay. Well, um... A little bit about me starting this. A lot of it is my two leaders, Carrie and Ren. And I always choke up everyone. <laughs> so I'm still on the emotional part of this story. But um, 
for me, before ketones, um, I was tired and I just had no motivation. I was watching uh, Ren. Since ketones, it has been a whirlwind. And all I'm doing, and again, I apologize for my voice. This is what we're working on as the public speaking here. Um, what I've been doing is I love people. I love the one-on-one -on -one connections. So I literally, until I'm more comfortable doing much more public speaking, is my contacts. I have hundreds of contacts. We all have hundreds of contacts. And I have literally gone through those. I'll call people. I will meet with them. And it has been one after another. Hey, what are you doing? This is what I'm doing, you know? And it, so it's just been relationships for me. I have been very successful and very blessed right now with years, 53 years old, <laughs> years of contacts. And it does take a little extra time, people, but it is worth it because they will follow up. I, I, I will put something out saying, hey, I just wanted to, talk to touch bases with you. Haven't seen you in a long time. Haven't heard from you in a long time. This is what I'm doing in life right now. What are you doing? Conversations start to happen. You're looking great. I've noticed blah, blah, blah. Conversations start to happen. Give me thumbs up if you don't want to hear from me or you don't want, you know, and that hasn't happened too much. I have reached out to people that I haven't even talked to in probably 15 years. And it was genuine. This wasn't me doing a sales call. This was a genuine connection that then led to it. So that is honestly where I've gone with it. Well, Paula, I don't, I hope I never hear you tell your story without you kind of crying. <laughs> so, you know, like that's your strength. Um, that's your power is your emotion and your authentic authenticity and, and being genuine. And I can feel that your why is a hundred percent about helping other people. Because if that wasn't the case, you wouldn't be able to pick up the phone and talk to people that you haven't chatted with in 15 years. If you did not just genuinely want to improve the quality of their life and you both, and you had belief, would you agree? Yeah, I totally agree. I love it. So what are you, what are you, so you've hit this MVP cycle three times in a row. Um, what are you, what else are you doing besides the individual connections? Are you getting together with Ren and Carrie? Like what, are you pulling people together for a little keto life parties? I think you have some things planned. Like what else are you all doing? Yeah, I'm, um, we've done Carrie Wren and my sister. Um, we've all kind of brainstormed. We actually had a little tasting at a bar. Um, my sister works there. So we collaborated, tried to bring people into her bingo night as well as, you know, and it was a very successful night. It wasn't maybe successful in context, but it was successful all around that we got out there. We got visual. Um, people learned more about the product. And that's really important in Carson City. I, I we're tapping in. There's not a lot of people here that know what I'm talking about, what we're talking about in Carson City. Reno, Virginia City are amazing communities and all around the world, we all have these same issues. So it's just tapping in. We have the amazing opportunity this weekend to have Dustin here and we are so excited. We have him in Carson. Here goes the voice again. <laughs> we have him in Carson um, and Reno and we'll maybe get Virginia City and we are just absolutely excited. So um, that's getting out there again, making more connections. And then I'm focusing on getting more comfortable with live stuff. Um, I did my first live and for anybody that saw that, it, it had a lot of interest. <laughs> so um, that was good too. And it was just as simple. It's like I had five people interested, just that simple. So um, it's getting out in your comfort zone. And this company does that for me. After 53 years, this company does getting me out in my comfort zone. And I, I'm so grateful. Uh, well, we are so grateful that you're here. We're so grateful that you're showing up um, and that you're showing up as just this extremely authentic, genuine human um, because you are impacting all of this. So thank you so much for sharing that. And I'm just going to kind of piggyback. Paula just said she did a live. How many of you like can just hear from her right here on this call and you can hear her emotion 
think that a live would be more powerful for her than just a Facebook post. Right? What do we think? A live or a Facebook post? Yeah, yeah. That's actually one of my action steps. So Paula led us right into the part like that. We did not plan that. We did not talk about that ahead of time. But but yes, and she did it messy. She did it scared. She did it uncomfortable because she didn't necessarily feel like doing it, but she did it and she showed up so authentically. Doesn't it's not about being perfect. Listen, people don't actually like perfect people. Oh, it's so weird, but they don't really. People like authentic people. If you're doing a live and you're nervous, the very first thing you should do is say, oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so nervous. I kind of feel like I want to throw up over here. Y'all send me some love. I'm going to get through this, okay? Because it's really important that I share this. Do you know that you totally disarmed the whole situation and now everyone is rooting for you? When you just share that you're uncomfortable. So that was actually one of my action steps. If you've never attempted to do some sort of a live on social media, Facebook or Instagram, whatever it is, is to do a live and show up as you. Many of our teams, they, they don't want to do the calling people, messaging people, talking to people like Paula's doing. They don't want to do the lives, so they do the post and the pray. No one knows you from your social media posts. They can't feel your energy, which is what this call is about. They cannot feel your energy through a post. They cannot feel it through a text. 90 per, listen, my actual degree, little side note, my actual degree is in interpersonal and organizational communications. I have a bachelor's degree. 90%, and this is not, you don't need a bachelor's degree to know this. Most of you already know this. 90% of all communication is nonverbal. 90%. Yet we are trying, many of us are trying to build a multi million dollar business with the 10% of communication that is someone reading something on social media. Can they hear the inflection? Can they hear your energy? Can they see your eyes? Do they see your smile? Okay. Lives are super important. So an action step to get through this, to raise this energy in your business in the middle of the month is a live. Your live can be sharing someone's story. It could be sharing your own story. It could be teaching somebody how to do something. Maybe you are teaching someone how to make a low carb, high protein snack that you did during the IFAS. And you're like, you know, people ask me all the time when I'm doing this, I fast, I'm doing a low carb, high protein snack. What does that look like? This is what it looks like. And you show them. You're not trying to sell the I fast. You're not trying to sell the summer slim down. You are educating people on what a low carb, high protein snack looks like. Does that make sense, you guys? Okay. You can teach people things, but do a live because people need to hear feel you. They need to feel your vibration and they will not feel your vibration through a cute little funny meme or a text. They just won't. I'm not saying don't do that stuff too, but if you're not showing up as you, you are missing so much. You are missing 90% of what your business could be. All right. We have, is Lynn on here? Can y'all, is Lynn on here, Christina? Did we? Get I'm here? on. Okay. Okay. So Lynn has an action. So my action step for all of you is to do a live today. I really don't even care what it's about. If you just did one about ketones, do it about something else, but show up as you. That's my action step. Show up and have your energy out there into the world. All right. But Lynn has this action step for those of you that are having customers that are having smart ships process. Do y'all remember when the VIP changed and we're like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I was at an event in Nashville with Lynn and she just casually said, 
oh yeah, I'm starting to see these smart shifts. This is what I'm going to send people. And I was like, and I know many of you have not heard this little tip from Lynn that's going to completely blow you away. Lynn, share with the folks your action step for what to do when someone smart ship processes. Awesome. I'm happy to do that. I love your uh, training today, the energy. It's awesome. And Paula, stay authentic, my friends. Stay authentic. Let those let that voice crack. It's okay. People hear your heart. I didn't hear you mention science one time. Y'all, I didn't hear her mention science. I heard her talk about how she felt, right? So thank you for sharing that with everyone. Um, I have a little hack that I came up with. Um, and I'm, Kate, you're going to have to help me with this one. I think you have to have the um, Prove It Pulse Pro um, to get right into this, but there's another way you can go around it. If you don't have the Prove It Pulse Pro, I highly recommend the investment in your business to just upgrade to that if you don't have it, because there's so many cool things on the Prove It Pulse Pro that are going to help you organize your business, organize your people, and have lots and lots of extras to send out to people. So what I did and what I'm doing is every morning when I wake up, I have my little DMOs I do, but part of that is to go in and check my activity to find out what smart ships process that night. Now these um, smart ships are gonna be smart ships that are direct to me or, and or they are going to be a customer's customer's smart ship right? So there's no promoter in between us. And um, those people are my responsibility. So I'm going to reach out to those people by, and I'm going to try to show this. I don't know if you have me on speaker view, but it might be easier to see if you put me on speaker view. Um, you get these little notifications like this, right? And you see how the name is highlighted? All you have to do is touch the person's name. And when you do, let me give a better one. Let me hold on one second. When you touch their name, this pops up. And you see there's a little uh, envelope there. You can email them directly, or you can send them a text directly, or you can call them, right? So what I'm doing is as soon as that comes through, whether they've been a customer for a long time or they're a brand new customer, I am clicking on that text, and if they have an iPhone, I'm going to send them a voice memo, and I'm going to say, hey, I saw your smart ship come through. Oh my gosh, I know you've probably heard about our VIP program, but did you notice the price has dropped on your smart ship? And that's because you got those great points and we're applying them on your smart ship. It's an awareness. And I'm also reaching out and I'm having a relationship with them. I'm also gonna tell them, hope you're doing great. All of those things, y'all, but there, there's a purpose for it. And that is to create conversation and create communication. And they might say, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that. So my next step from there is once I've, I've well, I should say before I do this, right? Let me back up, before I do this, there's a little thing here that says order history, y'all. You can touch the order history and guess what pops up? What shipped? And then if you click, whoops, order history. And then if you click, sorry, the arrow next to it, I think my internet just went pooey on me. Okay, if you click what's next to it, there will be an invoice that actually shows the price that actually shows the discount. Like this one was a $78 discount. I screenshot that and I, you know, frame it out. I send it to them on the text. Oh my gosh, did you see how much you saved? I don't know if that would be helpful to you, but it's working great with me because number one, a lot of them, did not read the emails that went out about the VIP change. It's created conversations for me to get into a little bit more of a business conversation with all of my SmartShip customers. And I'm letting them know about the promotion that we have right now. I'm talking to them about 
I'm you know, grateful that you're my customer. Have you ever thought about doing what I do? Those discounts can be more and you could actually gain some income from this if it's something that you're interested in. If not, no worries, but I want to make sure you're aware. So that's a little hack that I'm, I'm doing. Um, number one, like I said, to try to create these relationships. I just had a lady, Kate, order from the internet, didn't know who she was, saw her order come through. And uh, you texted me a little while ago and I said, hey, um, I'm on a Zoom with a, with a customer, potential promoter. Well, I reached out to her, took the time to do a Zoom with her. Guess what? She reached out to a couple other promoters that did not return her call uh, or her, her text, but I did. And so that's why she decided to be a uh, become a customer of mine. But my point is, is I took the time to talk to her. She knows my heart. We have so many things in common. These are the things that I want to do to attract people into my business. We are not in COVID anymore, y'all. We can get out in public. We can go talk to people. It's okay. Just be your authentic self and you will attract your tribe. Kate, did I cover what you wanted me to cover, my friend? You did, Lynn. I love it. And I think what you just said right there at the end is this is about creating conversations. I will never, ever forget. The, it was Christmas. Um, I think it was Christmas 2020 and I was sitting in Brian Underwood's, um, living room, which looked like Dr. Seuss threw up in that living room. I'm just going to say it was, it was the most amazing Christmas decor I'd ever seen, but I'm sitting across from him and he's like, okay, I know I get it. Kate, you want to know what the one thing is. And I'm like, yes, like I've been following you around for years. Like, just tell me the one thing, like, what is the one thing? And he said, it's how many conversations can you have? It's all about conversation. And Lynn's hack was reaching out to people that are already customers. But how many of you like you have customers and you're like, I don't know what to talk to them about. Like, and every time you reach out to them, it's because there's a sale. If you go into your messages with your customers and the, every time you're talking to them, it's to let them know there's a sale, there's a sale, there's a sale. That's transactional. That's not what they're, that's not what's going to move the needle in your business. So I love that Lynn has this other reason to reach out to them and just start conversations and build that relationship. Um, so it's 1143. I've got two more minutes. I really, honestly, we should have been off 15 minutes ago, but hey, I'm chatty Kathy. I can't help it. It's energy day. So we got to raise your energy. I'm going to give you one more action step. And it's just a Facebook post or Instagram post. This is just, this is a social media post. And some of you may have already made this before, but I'm going to give you this example of a post. And then I'm going to give you exactly what to say to people when they comment. Okay. So here is, because how many of you would love to have some um, people join you in the business? Put a one in the chat. If you are open and you are receiving new business partners. I am receiving them. They are joining my team. Like that is how I speak now. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I see lots of ones. Y'all beef. Y'all some beef stuff in here. Okay. So here is the post. It says, what would you do with an extra $500 a month? What would you do? And all I did was just put a color text behind it. Right now, like don't compare your results to mine because I've been building on social media for seven years, but I have 135 comments to respond to this morning. Okay. What would you do with an extra five? I told you, I don't teach you theory. Um, I'm going to give you guys the language of what I am sending to all of these people today. Hey, Sally, thanks for commenting on my post about what you would do with an extra $500 a month. It's crazy what a difference that can make to so many people. Just curious, are you looking for a solution to create that extra stream of income? If not, no worries. I just wouldn't want 
to keep the system I'm using and coaching to myself if others need it too. Okay, that's what I'm going to send to 135 people today. You got that? Alicia, <laughs> making me laugh. All right, copy that, save that, and just have your intention, set your intention before you make that post. Put yourself in a positive energy. Maybe it's jumping on your rebounder. Maybe it's listening to music. Maybe it's walking around your house thinking about going to Ishkara or paying off debt or putting your kids through college or quitting that soul-sucking job. Like put yourself in a positive, amazing energy space before you make that post and before you respond to anyone. And when you send that message, this is my last piece of advice. This is my pro tip. When you send that message, you bless and you release. We are not married to the outcome of that message. We are married to the process of sending it. Because somewhere out there, someone is waiting for us to send them that message. There is one little sticky note right here. It's all like weathered and worn and it's been on my laptop for almost seven years. The only thing that is sitting around me that has been here for seven years, it says you are looking for the person that is looking for you. That's all I'm doing by sending that message. I'm looking for the person that's looking for me and I am not emotionally attached to anything else. Everybody got that? That's right. Paula was waiting for Ren's post. Okay, y'all. I kept you on here way too long, way too long, but I appreciate your energy. I appreciate all of you showing up. Invest in yourself. Honor yourself. Honor your dreams. I believe God gave you those dreams for a reason. Show up for them. Show up for them. Okay? All right. I love y'all. And tonight, tonight is the Maximize Your Ketones. Um, Wednesday, we'll have another huddle call. And oh my gosh, I almost totally forgot. Y'all put this on your calendar, August 11th, Dallas at the Lab Playbook Leader-Led Event, August 11th in Dallas. It's a Friday, all day Friday, Dallas. Be watching for those details to come um, from your leadership. I will be there. I know a lot of people on this call are going to be there. Um, I'm super excited. I hope I get to see lots of you there and go crush your day. Bye, everybody.